Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, man. So I'm coming to y'all with it, with some sad news again, man. I know it's been like that type of year already, man. And we've been talking about a lot of situations involving rappers that ended up with a rapper passing away or something of that nature, right? Well, man, it's with great sorrow that I come to y'all today and talk about the rapper Black Rob. Now, Black Rob was a famed uh, rapper back in the 90s. He got with uh, P. Diddy and the Bad Boy Faction and Man Bad Boy Entertainment and really had a breakout hit with a song called Whoa. It was one of the first crossover songs to go to each and every region of hip hop because at the time, hip hop was still regional. But man, it seems like Black Rob passed away today at the age of 51 years old. And man, we're going to get into all of that and all the specifics. But before we do, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And man, uh, you know, rest in peace to Black Rob already, man. All respects. All right, now that we got that out of the way, man, let's talk about this Black Rob situation, man. Now, Black Rob, like I said, man, was a famed rapper with Bad Boy back in the late 90s, early 2000s, right? He was like a resurgence in the Bad Boy uh, crew, or excuse me, the Bad Boy record label. And it was due mostly, and most and partly to his hit single, Whoa. And he was he had came in around the same time that Biggie was still alive. Like, Black Rob was mentioned on some of uh, Biggie's biggest projects and stuff like that. But there was a bidding war, and he ended up getting signed to Bad Boy, and it was, it was a done deal. And he appeared on a lot of Bad Boy projects in the future. You know what I mean? Now, Black Rob was definitely... Uh, a talented artist or whatnot, but man, in recent years, he's had a lot of struggles as far as his health condition. Now, the story that's being reported right now, I can give you, and it's by uh, pretty much just a couple of different sources together, man. You got everybody reporting, but you got uh, Genius.com, which is, you know, a hip-hop publication or a music publication, and they're, ba they're basing this off of his friend, Mark Curry. Now, Mark Curry was a rapper as well with Bad Boy, Back around the same time, man. And he's been kind of checking in with Black Rob and looking into everything that's been going on with him since this whole debacle started. Now, the story says this. It says, the Woe rapper revealed last... Excuse me. Let me go ahead to the top. And it says, former bad boy rapper Black Rob has died at, at age 51. And it says, the Woe rapper revealed last week that he was hospitalized. I actually did a little story on that, talking about how, you know, he was in the hospital or whatnot. But it continues to say the bad boy rapper Black Rob has died today, a week after he appeared in a video from a hospital bed. Now, for those of you who haven't seen that picture, he was actually in a video and it showed him in a hospital bed and it just didn't look good, man. It looked like a bad situation. You know what I mean? Now, it continues. The former bad boy, uh, former bad boy artist Mark Curry first revealed the news in a video after spending the last week giving periodic updates on Rob's health. Rob's exact cause of death has not been revealed but he suffered from health issues stemming from high blood pressure for for the past several years and previously told sway calloway on the sway show that he suffered a stroke in 2015 now i remember this story when he suffered the stroke back in 2015 and i remember him running to uh i mean having different type of run-ins and issues going to the hospital i think there was even a story that he had suffered like five strokes before which is crazy, man. You know, high blood pressure is one of those things that is devastating because they call it the the silent, the they call it, you know, the silent death or whatever, the silent sleeper or whatnot, because, you know, it's, it's just one of those things that people don't check up on, but could really creep in on you, man. Now, I know there was a story that I read personally when he had some issues like a, a couple of months back, and it was basically talking about how he was trying to get on his health kick. But it seems like he was in a lot of pain and a lot was going on, man. Now, here is a video that Mark Curry posted on social media right here. I don't know where to begin this, but I thank everybody for the donations. Rob passed away about an hour ago. I need for his daughter, Iona Ross, Little Robert Ross, y'all get in touch with me, please. Now, as you heard from Mark Curry there, man, he passed away just a little while ago. So this is just fresh news, man, and everybody's 
trying to figure out what went down. Now, in this story in the Genius, they, uh, Genius.com, excuse me, they basically start to detail Black Rob's career. And it's wild because, man, I remember when Black Rob was like on the top of the world, man, as a rapper. Like there was nobody cooler than Black Rob. You know what I mean? And it just seems like, man, the, the, the record industry was a tough, tough place for him to be. It, I mean, and I don't know Black Rob personally, of course, but that's just what it looks like from the outside looking in. You know what I mean? But it, I mean, he had some amazing hits. He was on some amazing records. And man, his legacy will always be remembered in hip hop. Sad, man. This has been a tough. It's been a tough month for hip hop with DMX and Black Rob. Man, this is sad, man. And not taking anything away from X or Black Rob, you know, by putting them there together. But it's just all all bad, man. Bad sign. Bad thing. I don't. I don't. I'm. I'm at a loss for words. Sad situation, man. Black Rob, rest in peace. Always be respected. Always be missed. And with with that, we out of here. Peace.